time right here. A new study grades dozens of bays in New York and Connecticut based on their water quality. And as CBS 2's Kieran Dillon explains, several waterways are not in good health. Long Island Sound is one of North America's most ecologically diverse estuaries, known for beaches, boating, and fishing. It also generates approximately $17 billion annually in economic um, income and ecological value for our region. But the water across the Sound varies greatly in terms of quality. A new study released by nonprofit Save the Sound ranked 50 bays with grades ranging from A to F. Receiving top marks in the study, Outer Stonington Harbor with 96%, followed by Mystic Harbor and Outer Port Jefferson Harbor. Meanwhile, the worst grade went to Inner Cold Spring Harbor with 53%, followed by Inner Eastchester Bay and Inner Manhasset Bay. The difference in quality being largely summed up by... The bays and harbors that are more pristine either have less of that excess nitrogen and pollution coming from the land and they have cleaner streams and rivers feeding them, but they also can have very open um, flushings. The six indicators used to judge the water included levels of dissolved organic carbon, dissolved oxygen, chlorophyll A, water quality, seaweeds and organic saturation. The researchers say the water quality indicators were chosen as a way to assess the environmental health of the waters as well as their ability to support aquatic life and marine habitats. The most surprising finding was that the quality of open water did not always match that of the water in a bay. For example, there were some bays closer to New York City where there's typically more pollution that were cleaner than expected. They probably have um, Less nitrogen coming in from their watershed because most people in that area of the sound are on sewer. As for next steps, researchers say more federal funding is needed and more accountability from all of us. The fertilizer, um, nitrogen coming in from our septic and sewers, and then controlling our stormwater. For now, the scientists hope this report card will serve as a roadmap to remind us what bodies of water need help and which need to be preserved. In Oyster Bay, Long Island, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News.